Yeah. He took the comments in the British Command paper prior to the restoration of the Northern Ireland Assembly Executive and the North South Ministerial Council were particularly negative in regard to the All Ireland economy. Regardless of what British public servants or British um, politicians think, the All Ireland economy is there. It's growing. It's being strengthened every day, thankfully for the benefit of the people throughout all of this island. If we take one statistic, um, between 1998, at the time of the signing of the Good Friday Agreement, and 2022, trade in good, cross-border trade in goods and services had almost in, um, increased threefold, up to well in excess of 11 billion euro. And I know that the figure for 2023 is higher again. Um, uh, we welcome that development, but a particular importance of cross-border trade is its significance to the small and medium enterprises. We all know that many small and medium enterprises, their first export market is to the neighbouring jurisdiction, north, south, south, north. And teach of you would have heard me speak in this house on many occasions about the importance of cross-border trade to areas like Cavan, Monaghan, Fermanagh, Tyrone, or Ma, where we are particularly strong, thankfully, in the agri-food sector, is construction products and engineering, and a growing tourism industry as well. One thing that I mentioned previously, and I'd like if your department and the NESC would have a look at it, is the particular challenges and opportunities for the, for the central border region. We all know that the bigger populated areas, the urban centres, the Dublin Belfast line, they will grow despite whatever economic challenges arise. But we need to prepare and grasp the opportunities and also deal with the challenges that will affect an area such as the central border region. Thank you, Alaska and Corla. Um, Deputy Smith spoke uh, very eloquently on the all-island economy, uh, and I agree with him. It's real, it's growing, uh, and I don't think it should be seen as, um, uh, as a threat to Northern Ireland Great Britain trade. Uh, it's not an either or, and Northern Ireland can increase its trade in, in both directions and with the wider world, in my view, and that's what we want to happen. Um, but he made the very strong case again to make sure that the central border region is always on our agenda, because we talk a lot about the Northwest, um, Derry and Donegal, we talk a lot about the Dublin Belfast economic corridor, and it can be easy to forget about the huge region in between, uh, which has uh, economic needs and potential too.